There are thousands of disposable batteries out there, but is there really a difference if you pay more? Well, we wanted to know when to splurge and when not to splurge on batteries. So we put some of the leading brands to the test. Check this out. The goal of our test to save you time and money. We'll figure out which of these has the most life. We picked two children's toys. This one takes double A batteries and this one takes triple A's. And then we grab some flashlights. They take those big old D batteries. We pop the batteries in. Four different brands for each test and let them rip. And then we waited and waited and waited. And while we waited some more, we picked the brain of a battery expert. How long have you been in the battery biz? 15 years. Keith Triplett says most basic batteries are made up of the same ingredients. Manufacturers can tweak the chemistry inside to make a battery their own. But Triplett says most battery brands will give you about the same performance. So when it comes to price... If it's for a toy, the chances are good your child's going to lose the battery before it outlives its usefulness. So buy the cheapest thing you can. If it's for your digital camera where you've got to have that performance, go for the highest price lithium cell out there. Now back to our batteries. In each test, it was the family dollar battery which died first, hours ahead of the others. But our expert says there's a reason for that. It was the only heavy duty battery in the bunch. And while heavy duty makes it sound like a workhorse, it's not. It's designed not to last very long at all. So if a manufacturer puts a heavy duty battery in with the toy that I'm buying, There's, it's because it's cheaper for them. That's right, they're saving money that way. So go ahead, use that, but plan on replacing it with a good alkaline battery or lithium. So let's hit the AAA batteries first. After the family dollar battery died, three hours later, the Energizer gave out. An hour after that, the Duracell was out of juice, and the Rayovac held out longest, but only by five minutes. The circular saws with the double A's turned out to be a longer test. The family dollar brand gave out at three hours, 22 minutes. And then it was a long wait until the Rayovac died just over 11 hours later. Within the next 45 minutes, the Energizer and then the Duracell were out of energy. Finally, flashlights, D batteries. Family Dollar's heavy duty lasted seven hours. The Rayovac lasted 14. The Energizer went about 18 hours. And the Duracell died a little more than an hour after that. Our test proves what our expert says. When you buy a regular old alkaline battery, provided it's not heavy duty, it's going to be the difference of about an hour's worth of performance. But for what it's worth, Duracell did last longest in two of our three tests, and the top three all cost about the same. And you know that old wives' tale that your batteries will last longer if you keep them in the refrigerator? Well, our battery expert says that's true. Any heat at all gets those batteries going, keeping them in the cold, ensures they'll be ready when you put them to work. I'm Kristen Miranda, America Now.